Hello. We are back. Okay, time for the second episode of Dark Souls and No Deaths Run. <coughs> As you all know, we just got back out of the... Well, not back out of the... Out of the asylum. Oh, we should be going back to the Firelink Shrine just as soon as it loads in. Here we go, finally. Now, I got my levels up. Uh, I got the fire bombs, got the humanity. Uh, should I kill Petrus? Ah, I'm not going to kill Petrus. It's an alright guy, I guess. I'm going to learn his uh, gesture, though, because I do. Hello, kind of like I am Petrus. Also, I like getting his coin. He has a pretty nice coin. I can, like, give uh, it away I, later. But, uh, yeah. Sweet. I don't remember how many souls that gives. Probably um, quite a few. So what if would? Uh, no. That is a shame. Uh, maybe Speak I can't get it from him yet. Ah, well. Not too, not too much of a shame, honestly. Although, I am going to get... I don't know if it's Petrus's secret stash. There's, like, a talisman there, so I would assume that it is. And I'm getting massive frame drops. I have no idea what's causing this. Okay, it seems as though if I stand still, the frames magically return to normal. Okay, so... It seems as though this would be Petrus's secret stash, because it's right next to him, and, you know, Petrus... I don't want to spoil anything, but Petrus has things to hide. Not sure about the Homeward Bones. I don't think those would relate to him. But where is it? There we go. The Morningstar and Talisman. Those definitely have something to do with Petrus. I think he uses the Morningstar. The Talisman has definitely something to do with him. The Cracked Red Eye Orbs, however, they're definitely in. They're definitely interesting because again, it's really difficult to say this without actually spoiling anything. Lloyd's Talismans, though, I'm interested to actually find... Like, is there any connection between the Way of the White Covenant and All Father Lloyd? I don't know too much about the Way of the White Covenant, so for all I know, the All Father Lloyd could literally be the All Father of the Covenant, but... I don't know. I'm not really too much of a lore buff, which is why I don't know anything about those hollows at the beginning. Hollows? I don't know, are they hollows or undead? I can never remember. Now usually what I'll do here, I would go down to uh, New Londo Ruins and grab the Firekeeper Soul, but obviously I can't do that unless I pretty much want to die. So I'm just going to come up here and uh, deal with these guys if, you know, BS doesn't happen. Apparently I can't parry anymore. That sucks. I can just kill them regularly. It's not like that difficult. I'm sure I can get this guy. Never mind, I can't get this guy. Yes, of course, single one to talk about. Um, you may have noticed that I actually have 10 Estus Flasks now. Uh, and in the last video I said you can sit at a bonfire to gain yourself back up to 5. This isn't strictly true in all cases, actually. You can get up, oh, you can get 10 flasks, 15 up to 20, actually. You can get even more through other means, if I remember, if I've got this right, you can get more than 20. It's just through a very strange and not entirely understood means. But the way you get, like, the Firelink Shrine down there, there is actually a difference between that one and the one in the Asylum. On the Asylum, it was just like a little baby fire. There was, like, it didn't have anything special about it. It was just, like, a little fire, maybe it was just brand new or something. But the one down in Firelink, I don't know if you noticed while we were down there, but it's actually a lot bigger. Like, the flames are much larger. Maybe not much larger, but they're definitely larger. And the larger the flame there is on a bonfire, the more charges you can get on your Estus Flask. Now, I don't know the relation between Estus Flasks and the bonfires. Maybe the Estus Flask is like a bottle of pure concentrated embers or something. I really don't know. The picture it kind of looks like it could be. But I'm... I doubt it. Like, it seems as though there's a big connection between the whole undead thing and fire, like the embers. But I doubt that you would, like, become stronger by drinking a bottle of embers. It, it seems a bit... It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it makes sense. The embers are all powerful, but I don't... Th I. Just the art of pyromancy, I don't really think that it would have any kind of healing properties. It just doesn't seem like it makes sense. And if it was like that, then it's like, why did a firebomb still hurt you then? And why does actual pyromancy still hurt you? Maybe it's different for... Maybe you can craft pyromancies. Like, the original creators of pyromancies crafted them 
differently so that they can have healing properties. And maybe that's what the SS Flask is, but I don't know. Still, no lore buff here. I don't know anything about anything, except for the whole Velka theory. But that's about it. You can read all that if you want. I might put a link. I don't know. Probably not. Never mind. I'm not going to put a link. But here we go. This is like the first part where I have any chance of dying. I don't know what that guy's doing. Because I remember... Although the first time I came through, I had no trouble with these guys. Like, I remember seeing... Because, like... PC people know, like, almost every PC player had this game spoiled for them because they couldn't play it beforehand. I had to watch a video of this game before I could play it because I don't have a PS3. Um, but this part here, I remember... Yeah, it was Rurikan. Rurikan's pretty cool. He was playing this, and this part here, he, if I remember correctly, he died on multiple times. It may have been someone else, but I'm fairly certain it was him. I'm going to equip the wood shield, unless it makes me medium roll. Does it make me medium roll? Nope, the wooden shield is, as far as I remember, objectively better than the cracked round shield. But I think cracked round shield actually has more magic defense. Let me check that. Let's see here. Insert. Delete. Yeah. Physical, so that's better. Yeah, the only thing that the Crack Round Shield has better is magic, and it's not even by an amount that's at all useful. Like, if you want to have a magic defense shield, you go for the Crest Shield, like Crest Shield Master Race and all that stuff. But I just can't see any reason to use that dinky little shield. Now, I don't think I'm going to go for a strength, but I'm going to go for a dex build. Mm. Promise, I want to go for the Uchi Katana. But that's used so much, and I don't know. Could go for 99 volt resistance. That seems like a good build. Mm, yeah, resistance and vitality, like gouging, seems pretty good. I mean, I could just tank my weight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Dex. Like, Dex is fun. Dex is the first build I ever did. So I'm gonna go back to that and hope that I remember how to do Dex. I'm thinking Dex heavy armor, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe Dex light armor. It depends if I want to, if I feel like tanking through stuff, and if I can actually like be bothered to get the heavy armor and deal with the medium roll. And I like crossbow. I can't actually remember if I can use that. I'm fairly sure I can't. I don't know what am I talking about? I just did a soul level one run. I was using the light like, crossbow. Of course I can use it. Now, oh damn! I shouldn't have used those souls. I need to get the resonance key. Um, wait a minute. Actually, no. I'm not using Griggs, so I don't need the resonance key. Unless he sells cast light. I'll look that up later. As we can see, obviously not a hacked message. We can we can tell that these are totally legit. I personally never find hackers on the PC version. Like uh, I've seen PS3 version gameplay, they don't seem to be in that hacker suit. I think people over exaggerate how many there are. I'm trying to kick here. I can't kick, apparently. I'm just gonna like back off here real quick because I know that my luck I'm gonna get like hit by both of them at the same time. That guy doesn't know what he's doing. And apparently neither do I because I can't kick anymore. There we go. I can kick. Oh, are you kidding. Well I guess that was that is what they're for. They're spit people, they do that. There we go, that's one down. Oh, partial parry. Can't stand partial parries. So annoying. It's so useful, but it's just kinda like it's one of the least fulfilling things ever to get a partial parry. Unless you're doing it against a bow. That's awesome. If you can partial parry a bow like consistently, then you're actually the god of Dark Souls. Maybe not. Maybe the god of Dark Souls, you know, would actually succeed a no death run, unlike me failing like I'm eventually going to do. Well, you I don't think I'm going to go for the Drake train. Sword. <laughs> it would be useful just until um, later on in the game, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I'm going to get the repair box. I'm, I've bought the repair box once, and just like I never used it, so I don't really see the point. Why did I come down here? Um, I can't actually remember. Yes, better shield, heat shield. Uh, it's a thousand souls. I'm going to go <gasps> over here. What? Oh wait, no, I've got a couple of souls. There we go. Oh, I've got them equipped. Oh yeah, they give 200 now. Well, not now. As far as I know, they always gave 200. 
need a heat shield and hopefully this doesn't over encumber me. I really hope it doesn't. Because that would really suck. Thank you, kind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna just go down here. I'm just gonna go down here. Actually equip the shield that I just picked up. Heat shield has 100% block, so it's far more useful than the wooden shield. There are, there are good 95% block shields, but the wooden shield isn't one of them. Wooden shield 95% block, right? That would be a, a close enough. It rounds up to 5 if you're doing it to the closest 5, I think. Yes, it does. 3 is closer to 5 than 0. I can math. should believe or hope so. I'm doing math A levels. Okay, so if we just go up here, if I remember correctly, this is where you can drop down to get the light cross bow. Why am I over here? Oh yeah, the bolts. Can't bother to buy bolts. Now, let's see here. Do I actually have a shorter jump? No, it doesn't seem like I do. There is a lot of speculation that... I can't remember. It, it's something like people who use DS fix, Dark Souls fix, um have shorter jump distances. I I haven't found that to be the case. It might just be a 60 FPS thing, but I've never experienced a shorter jump, like even shorter rolls. I've like rolled around a bit and I've never experienced that, so I don't know what you people are talking about. Well, not you people, just like the people who sat here. Oh, I was hoping that's going to get him. I've got to roll out of the way, dead my frames. Drops saying probably a firebomb. That guy always drops a firebomb. Like every, almost every time I kill him, he gets me a firebomb. This is why I find out that when I killed him earlier on, didn't give me a firebomb, and I look stupid. I always look stupid anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We go by our obviously legit messages here. We're going to go back up to the bonfire, and I think we're going to end it off there. Just because I, I, I want to keep these around 15 minutes, and I, I forgot to set my timer for the second time in a row. So I'm just going to end off here. It's been Azerothan, Dark Souls, no deaths run. I will see you guys. You know what, my gesture key is blocked by the rest at bonfire button. I'm not even going to do that anymore. See you guys next time.